Hi everybody, Susan Rashawn here, The Techie Minner. Thanks for stopping by my YouTube channel, The Virtual Assistant Tips, Tricks, and Advice channel, where I talk about all things virtual assistant every week with zero fluff and just the stuff that gets results. I wanna to talk to you today about trusted partners. And trusted partners was something that I came up with based on necessity. So let me just give you a little bit of background about it and what it is and why you need it. But first of all, if you're a service provider and you're a solopreneur, so what I mean by solopreneur is you're it, you're the business, you're the one who works one-on-one -on -one with clients. Nobody else in your business does that. Maybe they support you, but they're not the ones that go out and make the money for the business. Uh, if you're a VA, you are a solopreneur, you are the face of your business, you're the one that does the work, you're the one that does the services, same thing with a coach. Now what happens is, and this happened to me, was I had all these wonderful clients, I was always busy, always had a lot on my plate, always had a lot of to-dos, I got sick, I got pneumonia, and I wasn't able to complete my to-dos. But there was nobody else to do the work while I was unavailable. And some of my clients had stuff that had to get done in order for their business to continue. And so what they ended up having to do was go elsewhere to get that work done. Now, some of my other clients could wait until I got back to work. Now, I don't advocate you working when you're sick. Now, what if you're not sick? What if something happens to a family member and you're unavailable? So what happened to me was I lost a couple of clients because I got sick and because I was a solopreneur and I had nobody to help me while I was out of my office. And that's where the trusted partner came into play. I realized that I needed to have somebody who could back me up when I was unavailable, which includes vacations. I didn't take a vacation for like the first three years of my business, which is not healthy. So if you have a family emergency or you just need a mental health day or God forbid you get sick, you really need to have a way to cover your clients and the work that they need done. So that's a trusted partner. And so how a trusted partner works is they become you. They are you when you're unavailable. Now, obviously they're not you, but my point is, is they have the same or similar skill sets that you have, so they can step in and do the work that needs to get done so you can relax and get well, or go take care of whatever it is that you need to take care of because you're unavailable. So a trusted partner is just that. They are someone you trust and know, and they become a partner in your business. Now, not in the term, of full-time partner, but they're available to step in when you're unavailable. So that's a trusted partner. And if you've ever lost clients because you weren't available for whatever the reason, you're sick, you're out of the office, there's something that takes you away, you'll know what I'm talking about. For those of you that are brand new to this industry, this is something that you should start looking into as soon as possible. Because what you wanna do is take care of your clients even when you're out of the office. That gives them a sense of comfort. And this is something that not everybody does. So now you know what a trusted partner is. Now you know how it came to be. And what, did I end, what I ended up doing was going out and looking for people that I already knew and had a relation, relationship with in one way, shape, or form. So I ended up having um, two trusted partners. And we actually were a threesome and we covered for each other. Now you don't have to have three, you could just have one. And how I found these wonderful ladies is that one of them, I worked together with a client that we had in common. We did different things for them. The other, I came to become friends with from a Facebook group. But I knew them for some time before we decided to try to do this together. So what we did was we stepped back and said, okay, what do you do? What are the services that you offer in your business? And do we have coverage? So it's almost like when you work maybe in corporate America or any job, you had somebody who was cross-trained who could step in for you when you were unavailable. It's the same concept. You need somebody that has similar skills and the similar mindset that you have that can step in and take over for you when you're gone. They don't have to be you. They don't have to have maybe your depth of knowledge, but they need to be able to do the key things that need to get done for clients. So how do you find them? You find them through um, colleagues. You find them through Facebook groups. Now, Facebook groups, is a great place to start, but you really have to build a relationship because you are trusting these people to run your business while you're unavailable. So you wanna make sure that they're a good fit for you and understand how your business works. So find somebody that you know that maybe has similar skills 
and ask them if they'd like to become a trusted partner. You could do it for them, they could do it for you, and then you basically would create a system for how this works. And this system would go in your business policies document because your clients need to understand that trusted partners are only for when you're unavailable. It's not for emergencies where they can't reach you. Unavailable means you're out of the office on vacation, you have a family emergency, you're sick then the trusted partner would step in. So you wanna have something in your business policies document that talks about, I have a trusted partner, here's who they are, here's what they do, and as part of my kickoff call when I bring on a new client, I discuss the trusted partner to let them know, hey, if for some reason I'm unavailable, I have coverage for this. And this is this person's name and their contact information, and this is when you would reach out. So for instance, if I'm on vacation or I'm sick or I'm unavailable, I would send a global email to all my clients to let them know I'm out of the office for X, Y, Z. Remember, you can reach out to Christy, who's my trusted partner, here's her information, and she can help you get whatever you need to get done while I'm unavailable. And usually what happened was, I would say probably 95% of the time, my clients sat tight until I got back, and there were a few that needed something you know, urgently done, and they would reach out to Christy to get um, that work done. So that's what you need to do. Now, as far as payment is concerned, you know, how do you guys swap what you do for each other's clients? That's something that you have to figure out. So we just basically subcontracted for each other and we charge a lesser rate for the work that we did because I wanna pay them for the work that they do for my clients because they're helping me, you know, let go so I can deal with whatever it is I have to deal with when I'm out of the office. I can get well or deal with family issues or, or just, enjoy vacation without having to look at my phone every 10 minutes, right? You need that time off to unplug. So a trusted partner is someone who acts like you when you are unavailable for whatever reason and they step in and they handle your clients for you. And then you could do the same thing for them. You need to discuss rates on how that's gonna work for them. You also might wanna make sure that they have uh, an email set up at your company Right, so I could have Christy at thetechiementor.com and share the information with your clients, explain to them how this person works. They're not an employee, they're just someone that's filling in for me while I'm unavailable so I can go deal with what I need, but you have coverage, you're not left high and dry. Because when you leave clients high and dry, not on purpose, they still have a business to run, they still need help. So by having a trusted partner in your business, you have somebody that can step in and help them do what they need to do while you're unavailable. It's gonna give you peace of mind while you're out of the office and give your clients peace of mind that they know if you're unavailable, they have someone they can go to that can help them. And so that's a trusted partner. So I would say the best thing for you to do is find somebody, and I know it's not always easy, but look at your friends, look at colleagues, look at people that are in, in groups with you, whether it's a paid group or a free group. Reach out to people and say, hey, I need a trusted partner. And I need somebody that does these things. You have to make sure you're really uh, zoned in on what type of skills you want. Um, they may not have the depth of knowledge, but they should be able to do the work that needs to get done while you're away. Then you also need to talk about you know, cost and that type of stuff as far as you know, how much are you gonna pay them to do the work and vice versa. And really spend some time you know, looking at the relationship that you have with your trusted partner. And I think it works really well when you are a trusted partner for them and vice versa because you probably have similar skill sets. So I hope this has given you some things to think about. I hope that you look at taking on a trusted partner for your business, for your peace of mind, and for your client's peace of mind. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, leave any comments or questions below, and I will happily get back to you. See you guys next week, bye.